What is up, guys? Super excited about this one. Um, been waiting for this for a little while. I ordered this like two weeks ago, maybe more than that. Um, actually ordered the Jeep looking version, whatever. Um, just because I like the light bar and I wanted to kind of play around with that setup. I have a couple power wagon builds. Um, so anyways, got no word on it for like two weeks. Nothing. Um, had to email Panda, finally heard back from them. Apparently it's still on the way. I don't even know what's up with it, but it's coming from China. This one I got on eBay ordered and, um, I will post the eBay seller up here because this thing came quick and I'm super stoked at how fast they shipped it and how quick it got here. So kudos to that eBay seller. Um, but I got to say, I am very impressed pulling this out of the box. Lots of things to like right off the bat. Um, first off, man, these tires feel good. Like, I don't know how great they're going to be. We did run it a tiny bit on the course just because excitement, like Liam had to run it. Um, he was the first one to get his hands on it. So, um, But they feel really, really good. Like they have a foam in there or something. I wish they were on bead locks so I could uh, – they are bead locks, I think. Hold up. All right. Uh, so we're going to kind of keep talking about this. Well, let's just – we'll get to that later. Um, it looks like there's three screws here. I don't know if that takes the hub off or if that actually takes the wheel apart, but we'll find out. Um some really cool things about this for one okay you got your lights on the switch so it comes wired up like that and they have three different modes i believe so you have that slow flash <clears throat> you turn it off back on it has the fast quick flash turn it off back on and they're just on so three different modes there for whatever floats your boat i guess um, but it's cool that they're on the remote right there. The remote feels very nice and light. It's two double A's in there. It has your throttle trim, steering trim. It does have your reverse. So if we go changing motors in these, you don't have to worry about switching wires or anything like that. You could do it here. Steering's the same. It has a low, medium, and high. Um, I got to be honest, first test on the course, this well, you'll see this big motor it's got actually seemed a little weak for what it is so maybe gearing um it's you know i i run a lot of brushless uh with torquey motors so obviously most stock stuff is weak to me but um it just one spot i got in a little bind and it seemed a little weak and then i'm um, trying to punch up a hill it just seemed a little weak but um i think we can work with that and then i like the links on it these links look very similar to the scx24 links even the way they're ribbed here like um so you know i've got to look around and see what kind of high clearance links i got that may fit this measure these up we're definitely doing that high clearance links on this thing would be sweet we've got to lower this body it's very tipsy um just right off the bat but this is a stock truck straight out of the box probably the best i've drove i i hate to even say that because i have honestly about 45 seconds of driving it but it felt good <laughs> i'm just going to say that um i did one one line super easy on the course that's Normally a little harder, especially with stock SEX24 tires. It's very hard, if even possible at all. This thing walked it. And uh, then another steep little hill, it just wouldn't quite do because it's a little top heavy. So maybe a little more weight down low. These wheels, I believe, are supposed to be weighted. They're kind of like the Panda um, 118th. They're weighted inside. Um but it, it just feels like this body needs to be down, um, which may lead to a little trimming. The shocks are oil filled and they feel great. 
these felt really good. So I'm anxious to run this thing and get more time with it. There's going to be a lot of videos coming up on this thing. Um, it'd be cool to see if these are sold separate, if it was something we could maybe get. They don't have a huge amount of travel for the length to them. It seems like the body's uh, kind of long, but uh, pretty good overall. The uh, drive shafts look super beefy. If you can see those there, but uh, really beefy. The only thing I don't like, and I don't know if you can even see it, but that's a little tiny Phillips head. Oop, I know you can't see it like that. Little tiny Phillips head screw in there. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the Phillips head screws, but the rest of the truck, these look like 1.5s. And all of these, yeah, all of these screws are 1.5 millimeter. So uh, that's really cool. Yeah. So basically 1.5 is going to do most everything on here, it seems. That's a little smaller. Let's see if it's the 0 0.5. Yeah. So 1.5, 0.5. Um, those portals. Those portals. Axial, take note. This is what you need to do on your next version. I would say offer it, okay? It's nice to have both. I like a straight axle. It's a little lower center of gravity, but it, this thing also easily walked that line I was talking about. And one of the reasons was it did not drag this. And that's another thing. This pumpkin here is not massive. It's pretty small and it's up because of these portals. So awesome clearance, really awesome clearance. Um, I think that's going to be one of the best things about this can't wait to start messing with this thing got to get the body down like i said and then i don't know about this servo um did he turn this yeah so we're back on here um it seemed like it was fairly strong like i said i have 45 seconds of running on this thing it is an axle mounted servo there you can see it's, uh, it kind of sits a little higher on the axle. And that's a little bit of a weird issue there. I don't know if you see that. Those upper links hit the motor and the whole motor and transmission moves. At least it don't limit your travel, huh? It's kind of odd. But... Um, Servo seems pretty good. Like I said, this is initial thoughts. I got to get more time with it. It's a little twitchy. Um, you can see it's just a little twitchy when you're trying to go slow with it. And that's um, the throttle is somewhat the same way. So the slow crawl, that's what everybody's going to want to know. You can get a slow crawl, but see how twitchy it is? very jerky um, not gonna be good for shooting any kind of scale trail videos um, that's me feathering it as light as I can and then so it's very jumpy not a fan of that at all. Um, probably going to be getting rid of these electronics. And that's um, one thing. The CSC, you know, it's up way high. So um, it'll be nice to get that out of there. Um, the uh, magnet mounts is pretty cool. I've seen these before on um, a lot of other 10 scale rigs and stuff. So they're powered. So basically... You have a positive negative running to the power here. And then that way, when you drop this down on there and those magnets touch, you have power for your lights. These magnets are very good the way they have the, their offset. So see how they're down in there. So 
when those drop down over these, you don't have to worry about if it gets hit side to side, they're not coming off, you know what I mean? And they hold really well. So not gonna be an issue there. Very good magnets, magnets. I can't talk today. Um, but overall, I'm just really excited about this. I wanted to show you guys a quick look at it. Um, steering links seem pretty solid. I mean, they're plastic, but they seem solid. And um, pretty cool little rig. So um, we strapped a different battery in there. We have the one that came with it charging. It is the, it's a Panda 700 milliamp uh, two cell. So um, this is the battery it comes with. It comes with this little charger that we all hate basically. A um, little bit of a book here. And I uh, haven't looked through that at all. Some stickers for stuff, I'm not even sure what. <laughs> and uh, whatever. It has extra little rubber um, O-rings for these drive shafts. They have the rubber O-ring there. Hopefully that's not a major issue losing those. But they give you four extra. And then you have these little hubcap things that can go on here. Supposedly. I don't know. I guess that goes on there to cover up the wheel nuts but um that's pretty much it i will uh get a little run over here just to show you guys a little bit of it and there'll be more to come on this this is just a first look i wanted to show you guys what's up with it just pulled it out of the box super excited to start modding and we have the other one on the way so we're gonna have both of them and be playing around with both of them um so yeah i appreciate everybody watching check out the running video so this is the crawl I did earlier. The SCX 24 is hanging up right there with the diff cover. Pretty bad. This thing has no problem with the portals. You can see it has a slow twitch. I'm not even gonna call that a crawl. But it will move slowly. It's just very glitchy. And the first time I tried this, it walked right up it. And of course, now that it's on video, it's not gonna wanna do it. There we go. On stock tires, that's pretty good. The, the SCX24 um, has a lot of problem with that on stock tires also, so. The servo on this is better than the SCX24 stock one, in my opinion. Now, a lot of that may be the servo saver, and then I'd blow it, but. Let's try it again. Always something to get used to, new truck. But um, bringing that body down is really going to make a difference here. And possibly even a little bit smaller diameter tires. I wouldn't mind. I mean, honestly, I think the high racks are maybe a little bit smaller than these. And I'm loving those tires. So maybe that's what I'll put on here. I don't mind the look of these wheels. And I'm not going to make that, I don't think. Oh, it pulled it off. So not half bad. Um, decent throttle, but man, it is jerky. So I don't know if it'll really have a chance at this or not. This is not something I've really tried with a stock SCX24 either, so... I really need a stock SCX24 for another build. So maybe we'll grab one and kind of compare them before I tear it apart.
See right there how I get a little stall? I want a motor that's gonna break something or it's gonna pull out of that. That's just me. This hill, it struggles. I don't think it's gonna make this. Just a little top heavy. So you've seen it. Um, definitely room for improvement, but that's the case out of the box with any of these. Um, a lot of things I like with it already, you know, the oil field shocks, string links feel decent. They're a little thin, but they're not all loose and janky like the SCX 24s. Um, so overall, I think it's gonna be a solid little truck. I hope the aftermarket jumps in on this thing. I hope, I hope. We're gonna need it. And I feel like there'll be some money to be made on it. So we'll see. If the aftermarket jumps in on this, it's gonna be a lot of fun. If not, it. It's just going to be another okay 24 scale truck. So, um, you know, that's really what makes the, the SX24 is everybody and their brother makes parts for that thing now. And that's good. That's a good thing, right? Um, so if that happens with this, there's going to be some really cool builds out there. So you guys let me know what you think. Um, I, I like it. So far, I like it. Going to keep rolling with it, see what happens, test its durability, that sort of thing. You guys let me know what you want to see. I appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, all that. And I'll post links in the description as well. I appreciate everybody. Peace.